Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to today's channel. Hi, my name is Julie, where on Mondays I do Makeup Mondays. On Wednesday I do True Crime Wednesdays, and on Fridays I do Random Video Fridays. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be kind to everybody that you meet because you don't know what they are going through. Okay, let's get into today's video. Hi guys. Um, yes, I am filming this on Wednesday. I didn't pre-film today's video because I have a ear infection and it's horrible. You know, I've been feeling like crap. You know what? I should say shit. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but I've been feeling like shit for the last few days. If you know what an ear infection, you know how ear infections are, you know, you know. So, yeah, today I want to discuss how you could tell someone is lying based off body language or based off their actions. Now, when the first one is when they're blinking. Too many times per second. You can indicate that someone is lying when they're blinking too many times per second. I can always tell. Like, let's say you blink every five seconds per second or whatever. Per minute. You know, you're doing this. You do that to me, you're lying. Don't fucking lie to me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. The second thing. Body language. When, they're get, when they get all tensed up and they're like, the way they sit. You know, if someone isn't lying, you know how they're relaxed sometimes. But if they're like so tense, their body language is very tense. Um, yeah, you're lying. You're lying. First of all, why are you lying? Second of all. Um, third. If they're, look, if they're not looking at you straight on. Let's say you're on a date. And you ask, you're asking them about their life and you notice something. They're not looking at you in the, you know, how you, how they're supposed to look. They're looking off to the side or whatever. They're not looking at you face to face. That's an indicator that they're lying. Put that, leave the indicators on if someone is lying to you on a first date. Because it could either be a manipulator, a narcissist, an abusive person. You never know. That's why it's important to be safe. And that's why it's important to know when someone is lying to you. Because if they're lying to you, that means they're trying to manipulate you in that situation. That's what you want to look out for. You want to look out for people who are trying to manipulate you in this situation. If you understand. If they seem too nice or too sweet. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's okay to be nice, but if you're too nice, I'm automatically going to know something's up. I'm automatically going to know something is up. Because, first of all, why are you being so nice? If they're like, y'all guys are dating and y'all guys have never, you know, argued. And you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, no, something's up. I'm automatically going to be like something's up or something's wrong or, you know, yeah, that's me. That's me personally. That is me. If someone is trying to manipulate you in a situation, the first thing you do is know what situation they're trying to manipulate you in why are they doing it why do they need to do it why is it so important you know don't let people manipulate you don't let people lie to you honestly i don't care if they've been friends with you for over 50 years do not let someone lie to you just be like why are you lying I can tell if someone lies. Someone, 
oh, my dog's sick. And they're like, oh, my dog's sick. No, they're not. You're lying. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I'm gonna go get some rest. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on Friday. Hopefully, I feel a lot better. Y'all pray for me because my ear infection is just irritating the crap out of me right now. I hate ear infections. Alright. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.